It all starts with a simple line. Hello world. You probably typed it out hundreds of times. But how does this innocent little string travel from your local machine to the wild, unpredictable landscape of production servers, serving potentially millions of users? Well, today we are tracing the path of single line of code as it transforms, evolves, and ultimately becomes part of something much bigger. From code editors to CI CD pipelines, and from Docker containers to Kubernetes clusters, this code will uncover the magic, the madness, and the meticulous processes that turn Hello World into a battle hardened piece of production software. So let's dive in and explore how a single line of code can make its way to production. Every journey begins with a single step, and for code, that step is writing it. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's talk about version control. This is where Hello World first gets its passport stamped. We call it the Git style. You commit the code, give it a cozy home in a repository, and maybe even create a branch for some safekeeping. It's like setting up a travel itinerary, and who wants their code getting lost on the way to production, right? And now we're on to the next step, the CI pipeline, also called continuous integration. It is like a health check for your code. It runs tests, linters, and ensures your Hello World isn't going to wreak havoc when it finally reaches its destination. Think of it as customs at the airport. If something's off, your code isn't getting through. And if everything looks good, your code gets the green light to move forward. And if not, well, it's back to the drawing board. But let's assume our hello world is pretty clean and ready for the next leg of the journey. And now we're heading into the world of continuous deployment, where things get really interesting. This is where your code leaves the comfort of your development environment and enters the real world. It's packed up into a Docker container, a nice little suitcase of everything it needs to run, and sip off to a staging environment for a final check. And in staging, Hello World gets a test of what production will be like. Simulated traffic, real data, and all the chaos that comes with it. If it can survive here, it's ready for the big leaks. But hold on, we're not there just yet. Before your code goes live, it has to pass one more hurdle, the code review. This is like getting approval from the seasoned travelers, and we call them the senior devs. They will scrutinize every line, suggest improvements, and ensure that Hello World isn't hiding any nasty surprises. And once approved, it's time for the final deployment, and Hello World is about to make its grand entrance. The big moment has arrived. Deployment to production. This is where Hello World joins the ranks of live applications, running on servers that could be anywhere from your local data centers to a cloud provider halfway around the world. And with a push of a button or an automated trigger, Hello World is now live. But don't think the journey ends here. This is just the beginning. Once in production, your code is constantly monitored. Is it performing well? Are there any errors? Just like a traveler who stays connected back home, your code needs to stay in touch. And we have monitoring tools to watch over Hello World ensuring it's doing its job without causing any trouble. And if something does go wrong, you'll be the first to know and you should be ready to jump in and fix it. Because in production, every second counts. And there you have it, a whirlwind tour from hello world to production. What started as a single line of code has transformed into a full-fledged application, live and ready to make an impact. So next time you write that iconic line, remember the journey it can take. From local development to the global stage, hello world isn't just a greeting, it's the beginning of an adventure. And every journey begins with a single step, and in this case, a single line of code. And maybe that's all it takes to change the world.